Hey guys, what's going on? It is C Gaming Z. I'm Christian the C. And I'm Zach the Z. And we're doing another installment of Minecraft Tips and Tricks. Uh, so today, if you're looking at this gorgeous house in front of me, it's actually not about the building this time. It's actually about the mining. Uh, probably, you probably can tell this by the title of the video. It's about strip mining and building a really cool place to store all your items. Uh, kind of like a, a mining station, Zach like to call it. So... Mm -hmm. And don't worry, this house is not my mining station. This is just a house. Yeah, you'll have to build the ground for me. Yeah, uh, I just put the mining station underneath my house, so you don't have to do this. You can just build it somewhere else. But without further ado, the station. Do -do -do. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, I'm actually just going to go over why I built it like this, and then I'll let Zach take it away with the strip mining. Okay, so first thing, mossy cobblestone. Pretty much the only reason I... By the way, this is mossy cobblestone with the texture pack, but yeah. The main reason I did mossy cobblestone on the bottom is just because, one, it looks really, really cool, and it kind of shows off how good you are as a miner. You know, you found a dungeon, you mined it, you took the cobblestone and made it, you know, like kind of like a carpet. So that's the main reason I did mossy cobblestone. Uh, I put the nether portal at the back here, mainly because it kind of adds to, like, the ambiance of just the mine. You, like, come down your house, and then you just look straight out, and you're looking at the nether. So I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, the reason I put lava shoots here, uh, basically, is because if you have an uh, extra amount of dirt or extra amount of cobblestone, you can kind of just walk over here and start just, you know, queuing it in there. Or you can just shift-click it in there or just drop it in there. And you don't have to have it anymore. If you have extra feathers or stuff you collect from, you know... Whatever they come from, ducks or chickens or whatever, you just chop, throw them in there. Uh, and I made two of them, so this is two-player compatible. <laughs> uh, I have two chests up here with two furnaces. The chests are mainly just for valuables and anything else you might find in the mine. I have a furnace up here, two, two of them, like I said, in case you go down there, you find, say, diamond, but you run out of your iron pick. You can run up here, cook the iron real fast, which would probably be in these chests run back down and collect the diamond instead of having to run back all the way up into your house or wherever it's stored or say this is like a community mine on like a server and you don't want to run all the way to your house it's right here in the mine uh anything else i added i had the glowstone to make it you know once again look cool lava glowstone nether mossy cobblestone and the stairs leading right down the middle that is pretty much it for me guys uh if you want to see how this is built, leave it in the comments or send us a message in our inbox, and I'll go through a tutorial on how to build this little shack. Because it is really fun to build, it's easy to build, and it looks really, really cool. So, Zach, without further ado, he's going to talk to you about strip mining, so take it away, buddy. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, so, we're here, and I'm going to show you how to strip mine for diamonds. This is oh, anyway. Yeah. My method that I found on my own, I've heard other people use it all the time. It's a very good method for strip mining. So, um, as you can see here, as I was mining down Christian's mine, I found some diamonds. But, uh, alright, I made it to the top of bedrock, which is where you want to start, basically. Is when you get to the very first layer of bedrock, you'll be walking on it. So you want to just kind of dig out a little room cozy little room you can do what christian did add some lava spouts to get rid of some stuff or yep. uh do whatever whatever I, I wouldn't put my nether portal you. down here <laughs> you can do whatever you want to and then um add yeah, some chests maybe if you find some rare raw ores or something so how you you get started here you want to go out and so you can see both sides you want to just kind of dig out away Oh, I found lava, so I'm going to get rid of it. And we'll just dig out and away from the little box you just created. And we'll just basically keep going either till you find lava like that or till you find diamonds or you just get bored of that one. When, when I find diamonds, I usually just mark it off, two torches on the side. And you want to go two blocks over and make another little strip. And the reason you go two blocks is so because you can see this side, mine out that side, and then if you go into the other hole, you can mine out this side. So you're seeing both sides and you don't have to worry about any missing anything. 
You always want to look at the roof too because there's always stuff uh, on the roof. There's some lapis I found already. And even as I was going down, I found diamonds. And, uh, oh, another method other than stairs down, like Christian likes to do it. Uh, right. You can do ladders is what I do. Yeah. You go down, <laughs> straight down into a hole, and as you're going down, you put ladders. Uh, digging straight down is obviously like a Minecraft sin or whatever. I still do it. Yeah, everyone does it still. Cause it's <laughs> it's a quick way to get up and down. It's effective. Yeah. So you just basically keep doing this in this one room, and as you find lava and stuff, mark it off. I'm gonna just keep going, and eventually you'll find diamonds. I mean, the the chances of you finding them is like huge. So just keep going until you find diamonds. Now I'm on creative, so I would say bring a lot of stone picks. Don't use well, iron. What? But won't you need iron to mine the diamond? Yeah, bring like one or two iron picks, but then a ton of stone picks. Because the stone will just be for mining through this rock and stuff since you're strip mining. Yeah, and you might also want to bring like a shovel to get through gravel and dirt. Yeah. Always bring a, a, a furnace or two, some coal, and uh, a crafting bench so you can keep making stuff. And some wood if you want to. So if you can keep mining for days straight, basically. And don't forget now, the uh, sword. Yeah, now Zach made a good point. He said uh, start at the first layer of bedrock. Now, of course, I'm not that smart, so I'd probably start where this first diamond block is. But yeah, but if you that's... saw diamond, you, you'd be good to start there, but you might be at the top of the diamond level. Or, yeah, exactly. Use the F3 I, key. Then... That's what I was going to say, yeah, because you might be, if you find diamond, you might be at that exact point where diamonds just start or just end. And you could pretty much just be screwing yourself over mining for days. Yeah. So, always go to the bottom layer of bedrock. Lapis, but... So you just want to basically keep mining outward until you find diamonds. It's pretty simple. Uh, nothing much to this technique. I, I'm pretty sure most people have heard of it. But the reason you want to mine on the top layer of bedrock... What's up? <laughs> is that if Don't you... people, like, go through the sides sometimes, though? Like, they start it... branching off like this? No, it, it gets too confusing. Plus, if you go through, you'll end up on the other side because there's – every two blocks, you make a new mine, a new a new straight line every two blocks. Uh, if, you, if you look at the main area. Yeah, I'll look at the main area. Every two See, blocks. I'm not that smart. And you just take a <laughs> run. You can get some redstone, tons of stuff. So I'd go over two, and then you I'd be like – start a new one. Down here, like in here. So you just keep it's... going. Because that's two in between them, so I just, And the yeah. reason you don't want to go down below the first layer is because you can get trapped underneath them. And then you won't be able to break through like this. I'm basically encased in bedrock. So, you, you, can, yeah. I, you can get trapped underneath them? Well, you can get trapped, but you can just walk your way back out however way, however you got in there. But, you like, once you go too far, then you're stuck. So Ooh, I found gold. Yeah, so you, you just find... This method is effective. Yeah, it, it's... It's pretty good if you have some time on your hands. Like, I found diamonds usually within 15 minutes or so. Oh, yeah, guys, let me uh, point out interesting fact here. If you are trying this method to search for emeralds, two problems. One, emeralds uh, on this you got to hit you gotta hit F3 and find out where you are. If you hit F3, it's going to say plains or extreme hills. As of now, emeralds only spawn in extreme hills. Yeah. So, uh, Zach, if you want to show them your screen and kind of point out where it says planes and stuff like that, uh, uh, you have to go – you have to fly. The top, the top left, yeah. and it's under the uh, the X, Y, Z, F, right underneath that. There's a line that says yeah. planes. We're in B, so, planes. If you're looking for emerald and you're not in extreme hills, then you're wasting your time. So and, just uh, keep that in mind. You want to check the uh, – if you're looking for diamonds and you hit Y – if you look at the Y coordinate – as long as that's under like I think twenty or twelve, one of those numbers, you're, yeah, uh, you're safe for diamonds. They'll be there. They'll spawn. I think it stops spawning at like twenty, and then it's really good in between sixteen and like I found more gold or something like that. Holy crap! Hmm. Ton of gold. Yeah. So you find some pretty good ores down here. It's pretty nice mining. Well, <laughs> no offense, gold to gold, but it's kind of useless. It's actually <laughs> the strongest. 
it it's the gold it's the least endurance but it, it's it does the most damage or mines the quickest oh it's a waste of time <laughs> i say it's good for spleefing that's about it but it's fun so yep i guess that's all to the strip mining thanks for watching guys. that's all that's all to the video <laughs> yep so uh yeah guys thanks for watching we hope you enjoyed this minecraft tips and tricks i'm christian the c i'm zach the z and this was another installment of c gaming z all right, guys. Peace. See ya.